Hey everybody, welcome back. So I don't know if y'all remember, but a while back I did some impact testing of different FDM type filaments to see which one could take impacts better. And for that, I built this little rig here. And so I could, um, you know, get a, a fair test, an even test of different filaments. And I'm going to go back to that test today except this impact test is going to be between ABS filament from an FDM printer and ABS-like resin from a resin printer. And as you can see, we are going to be using Gitex white ABS-like resin, and we are going to be printing it with the Gitex AlK $99 printer, which I just reviewed a few weeks or a few months ago link in the cards and I am going to be doing the FDM printing which I will show you in a few moments on a GTEC A10M heavily modified GTEC A10M and I forget the brand of the ABS filament that I'll be using for that but I will show it to you I am going to be printing the exact same part the part fits in this ring here and then you can't see it on the camera but I have holes every two inches up and down the side of this tube and then I can release the string and we'll get a fair test between the two of them to see how much each one can take before that shatters it so I'm going to get started printing this and there we go right there I'm going to be printing four of them and that way we can make sure it's whatever result we get isn't a fluke and there we go and i will take you in and show you the fdm printer so here are the abs test pieces i printed these about an hour ago on my heavily modified gtec a10m and here is the filament in question it is Li fung transparent abs resin here are the four pieces printed from the gtec abs like resin on the gtec alcade printer and as you can see, they all printed really nice. No issues whatsoever. Um, they came out of my little curing station. But you know, I want to make sure they're completely cured before this test. It's been sunny here in Arizona, which isn't any real shock. And I'm going to be busy for the next couple of days. So I might just leave these sitting out in the sun for a couple of days. Okay, I think I'm ready to break some stuff. I have my parts all printed. Um, before we do anything else, let's get a quick look at the test stream because I know some of you are probably not familiar with this from days gone by. This is just a stand with a chunk of PVC tube with some markings and some holes in it. And I'll stick a tape measure here so you can kind of see the heights we're dealing with. And I've marked the holes one through seven. One is about eight inches and seven is up about 26 inches so there that is and what i'm going to be dropping is a piece of one inch steel bar now some of you old timers may remember this this little rig from way back and a couple of you complained that i had made this rounded enough that it was hitting on a very small area contact area so i listened to what you said and i kind of took it down on top a little bit so it would have a larger contact patch when it hit and this piece weighs it is how long let me look at the length of it here the length of it is six and it whoops six and a half inches there's a hook on the end with some string so i can get it back up to the top easier or pull it back up easier and let's see what it weighs if i remember right it's about 20 ounces or so um see if it'll sit there for me 20 or yeah 22.79 ounces now i'm just gonna drop it in there and I, this ring is just to hold my test piece in place so it doesn't go flying all over when it hits uh, what else do I want to show you? Oh, yeah, let's take a look at the weight of the pieces because I was kind of surprised. Here is the difference. These were printed with um, the ABS-like resin and kind of curious on this one. I'm hoping the camera shows that there are some little pock marks in it. So I'm not going to be using this one for testing. I may use this to make a short, but it is the only one that has that on it. 
The other three do not show that at all. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to be using that one with the pock marks for the testing. But I was kind of curious at the weight of them. Um, I, I was kind of surprised at what I found because to me, the the resin feels more substantial than the um, the FDM one. Now, jeez, Chuck, the FDM ones have no infill. They are as solid as an FDM printer can get it. They are a back and forth print. They are not concentric. I thought the concentric might make it a little weak. And it's like, I don't know, six, eight layers, something like that. I forget which. We printed it um, 240 degree, 240C and um, ABS. So can't think of anything else I need to tell you about that. So let's weigh them real quick. The FDM one weighs 0.28 ounces. The resin one weighs 0.42 ounces. So there is quite a bit difference in weight. I'm honestly pretty surprised in that. Oh, now it says 0.32. What's going on with that? Let's try a different one. 0 0.32. 0 0.32. 0 0.32. Okay, so I don't know what that first fluke was. Let's do that one again. 0.42. 0.42, 0 0.42, and no, come on, one that one weighs that much more. That's the one with the pock marks. The one with the the one with the pits in it weighs more. It does. Okay, I don't know. That's weird to me. I don't know why that's reading that. Um, just the vagaries of the printer, I guess. Not sure what's going on. Say I will use this one to make a short, not to do the testing. So with that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on number one. And I'm going to stick a Phillips screwdriver through there. Excuse and grab me, one. I have a message for you. That I think will fit in there. Here, this one should work. And I'm going to stick my piece in there and then do that. So, let's start with the FDM one because that's kind of a known quantity. I have tested ABS like this before. So, here we go. On hole number one. Yep, pretty much what I expected. Now, these are obviously going to get weaker as I go. But, I mean, unless I wanted to print up 50 of them, I don't know what I can do about that. Do I have any damage in that at all? Nope, nothing. Here, hole number two. And I know about what to expect from ABS. Let's go to hole number three. It looks like we got some damage there now. Yeah, we. I'm seeing, am I seeing some damage in there? I think so. It deflected enough to make it look like maybe it has a crack in it. Hole number three. Well, it's still holding up. Let's go to four. Definitely got what looks like a crack appearing in it now. Hole number four. Still hanging on. Hole number... Whoops. Pulled it all the way out. Hole number five. Was I at four before? I can't remember. This is hole number five. We're going to do it at least twice anyway. Hole number five. Well, it's still holding up. Hole number six. Let's take a look at it before we go any further. Definitely have a couple cracks in it, but it's hanging together. Hole number six. Get that out of the way. And at the top, hole number seven. Here we go. Why does that always want to hang in front of the camera? I don't I want it hanging free. I don't want it catching on anything. Here we go. Oh, camera not really showing it. Hang on, sorry. Here we go. Hole number seven. Alright, it's definitely hanging on there. Um let's take a look at it real quick. So we definitely have a crack across it, but um it's still pretty solid. Let's try it again on seven. Okay. This will be the third number seven. We'll see if we can get it to break. Four. 
four on number seven. How many should we go to before we give up trying to break it? Here we go again. Yeah, ABS is pretty tough. Well, now I'm really starting to see some breaks in it. Now we got some really good cracks appearing. We're going down the side now. Um, whoops. Fumble finger strikes again. All right. So I think I'm done with that one. That was that was drops from one all the way to seven and then five drops on number seven. So let's try the one of these. Let's get the one without the pock marks. There we go. Let's see if it's as tough as real ABS. So we are on number one and here we go. That appears to have done nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Number two. Hole number two. Whoa! Okay, well, that um that's what you'd call a result. Jeez. Let's do it again with a different two. So here's a fresh one. A fresh. This is ABS. Let's put a fresh ABS in. Let's make sure it wasn't a fluke. Hole number one with regular ABS. Nada. Hole number two. Nada. Hole number three. Nada. Hole number four. Nothing. Hole number five. Cracks, but nothing. Hole number six. More cracks, but still nothing. Hole number seven. This is why we loved ABS, because it is tough. Unfortunately, it wasn't the easiest thing in the world for large prints, unless he had an enclosed cabinet, and it doesn't work well if you leave it out in the UV. Hole number seven. Let's do seven again. Hole number seven again. Hole number seven again. Let's do it another time and we'll compare it to the first one. I forget how many we're on. That's at least three at hole number seven. And um, there it is. Here's the first one we did. Um, neither of them failed. They both still are holding up. Um, let's try another one of the resin ABS like. So there we go. Let's go to hole number one. Let's hope that first one was a fluke. I'd like to think this really is like ABS. Hole number one. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> yep. Um, I don't know what that's supposed to be like as far as ABS concerned. But um, it's certainly not in the way of impact resistance. Let's get all that out of there. All right. Uh, let's try one more just for sport and amusement. Hole number one. Oh, that one hung on. Hole number two. Let's see if we can see any damage in it. I don't see any damage in that at all. Hole number two. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, I'd like to know what, when they say ABS like, ABS like in what regard? I mean, certainly not in the ability to take an impact because that, um, that doesn't really take much of an impact. So I'm not. In that regard, I think maybe um, one of us is thinking something different, and I don't know. I don't know what it is. So there you have it. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for Geetech for supplying the resin. Sorry, Geetech, but as far as impact is concerned, this is not like ABS.